Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm out here moving water today, and I figured I would bring you along and kind of show you what I had going on. So, um, around here, we're going to have a little cold spell. Here in North Carolina, <laughs> uh, we don't like cold spells. <laughs> this one don't anyway. So, I figured I'd get some water moved, so that way... During this cold spell, I won't have to worry about coming out here and moving water over and over and over. And you hear poor Ruby in the background. Anyway, so what I did today, I'm going to turn this camera around. We have moved the water from the way we used to do it. And I know I have some new subscribers up here, so y'all don't have a clue what I'm talking about. And... But anyway, um, let's see. I've moved everything. Uh, right down here I had two trash cans full of water. And they've only ever had water in them, so don't panic. But anyway, I had a 30-gallon and a 50-gallon, I think, trash cans. I think. I can't even remember now. Anyway, here and then underneath this blue crate is an outdoor spigot. And it also runs into the house. So what we did was we had a pump that we hook up to that outdoor spigot. And we had a hose fixed into the trash can. And we had a um, our charge box hooked up to the pump. And we'd have that turned on and it would stay on all the time. And when you cut your spigots on in the house, that is when... Um, the water would come on. I'd always come out here about every other day, check and make sure I had water in those trash cans. And there's one of them right there. That's the small one. But now we have accumulated right much water. So in one of my other videos, I showed y'all that we got one of those and we have one more coming. So right now I'm filling it up. So over here at the house, let me walk you over here, you hear the pump running, that's the background noise. I'm getting water out of this one right now, then I'll move over here, then I'll move over here, then I'll move over here to get it all in there. So uh, that is my project for today. It is 47, I think it is out here right now. Um, the wind is blowing some. But this sunshine is a blessing, let me tell you. It is not bad out here. Really not. Now this weekend, the lows is going to be around 30. And I know I shouldn't complain because a lot of you out there are dealing with a whole lot colder mess. Y'all are dealing with snow. And I'm so sorry. I'm so glad I'm not where you are because I, I, I can't handle it. I can't stand it. You know, on occasion here, it'll get in the teens. I hibernate. I can't take it. I don't go out for nothing. But now that we are semi off grid, I have no choice. And Tim will comment and say, oh yes you do, honey. Yes you do. I'll take care of it. People. No he can't. He has to get out and work. So while he's at work, I have to make sure all the water's straight. Because he leaves early in the morning. When he gets home, it's dark. And he ain't studying, worrying about no water. So Amy bucks it up. You know the phrase, suck it up, buttercup. I suck it up. I get on out here and take care of the water. So, anyway. So what I plan on doing with the, the two trash cans that I had over here to start with. I'm working on a place close to the house. And I'm going to put them close to the ramp where we go in the house. So that way when the inside um, water catchment I have, when it gets low, all I have to do is run my hose out the door and run it in that way. So I've got it closer to the house, so that will help out a lot. So anyway, um, let me show you my pump and stuff that I have. Hold on just a minute. 
this is the pump that I use and it has been awesome. Awesome. You know, I just have my water hose hooked to it, the long water hose to go all the way to that other catchment. And I have a short one that runs into the, where it's pulling out the water from the other catchment. And I have my battery. I have a battery here that I use. And um, I just sit here and I keep an eye. I keep an eye on that so when it gets low I can stop the pump. Because you want to make sure you got water flowing that, through that thing all the time when it's on. You don't want to burn your pump. But anyway, um, I'll get back with you when I get it full. Okay, so here is a start to my extra storage on the water catchment. So, we still got a little ways to go. And uh, I just wanted to kind of show you what we got going on. We're going to have another one of these delivered soon. So I can get that filled up also. So, anyway, there you go. Alright, so that was all the water that I had saved up. So I'm ready for some more rain whenever the Lord feels the need to let us have some more. Anyway, I'm about to head out of here and uh, go have lunch with Tim. So uh, thank you so much for stopping in and checking out the video. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Please be safe in what you do and we'll see you on the next video. Bye now.